Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week we're going to take a look at how to move from surface to solid bodies in SolidWorks. There's a few ways you can go about doing this, so let's jump in and take a look. So we're going to take a look at how to convert uh, surface bodies into solid bodies in SolidWorks. So if we take a look at screen, um, we've got a hard hat uh, surface body here. And uh, let's say, for example, so if you're fairly new to surfaces um, in SolidWorks, a surface is essentially um, a zero thickness geometry. So if we're sectioning the part here, we can see that there is, there's basically no thickness to, um, to the surface. And um, if we uh, if we like this design or if the customer likes this design and we want to maybe consider going to manufacture, we may want to consider um, giving this uh, surface a uniform wall section. So it could be manufactured in, in a name process, a, uh, a molded process or something like that. So this is uh, where, you know, might come about being helpful. So um, the first one we're going to look at is the Ficken tool. So we're going to come up here and click on the Ficken tool. And uh, it says here, surface to Ficken. So we're going to select the surface body. We've got a couple of options here. We've got mid plane, uh, inside Ficken or outside Ficken. In this instance, I'm going to select the outside Ficken. And I'm going to give it a two mil. That's what we want. So we're going to hit the green tick. And uh, if uh, SolidWorks likes the geometry, then we should be good. So you'll see now we go to section. SolidWorks has applied a two mil uniform wall thickness to the part. So that is pretty cool. So if we come up to the feature tree and delete that thicken feature, the next one we're going to do, we're going to come up to field surface, we're going to right click on that edge and select open loop. And what we're essentially doing here is capping the bottom of the hard hat design. And this, um, the purpose of this is to create a um, enclosed volume. And we'll see why we want to do that in a minute. So the next uh, tool that we have available um, to create a solid here is the knit surface tool. And what we want to do is we want to, so we now have two surfaces. We've got the uh, main hard hat surface and we've got the surface fill that we've just created at the bottom, which is going to act as our cap what we want to do we want to knit them together to create um, a solid if SolidWorks likes the geometry we've got here we can use the create solid button and tick ok and we've got um, a SolidWorks has created a solid from the enclosed volume um, that we've created there so again that's pretty cool the third option we have is we can, I'm going to delete the surface knit here just for clarity. So the next, uh, the next option, you can knit the surfaces together, but without creating a solid. So in this instance, this instance, sorry, we are going to knit the surface together. And the objective here is to create one surface that has an enclosed volume so what we're going to do is tick the green and note up here that our two surface bodies have now gone to one we can now come up to the thicken tool and we can select our um, singular surface body 
and we can use SolidWorks is clever it knows that we have created a enclosed volume we can tick that create solid from closed volume box and SolidWorks should do all the hard work and create a solid which again I think is pretty cool so uh, that's it for this week guys um, quick video on how to convert surfaces to solids hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to like subscribe and uh, yeah stay tuned see you next week for more videos thanks bye